Chicago Bulls stay alive. The Miami Heat, can they do the unthinkable again? Metro! I'm not your average baller. I came to win it all. If this my only shot, I'll take it. It's playing time, playing time. Jimmy Butler's grabbing his right knee. It's disappointing. It's frustrating. We will do this the hard way. What a sequence from Chicago! Everything we went through this season, you know, for this moment here, to give ourselves a chance to be in the playoffs. Let's get it. I heard that it was time for you to lay it on the line. Rear eyes for Kobe White. If you don't know, now you know. What a tough shot. Just incredible intensity. Rise up or fall. We can compete with anybody, as we've shown in the past. It's going to be a dog fight, man. We know Miami, they know us. If this my only shot, I'll take it. It's playing tight, playing tight. Welcome to the SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament. Tonight in Miami, a trip to the playoffs is on the line. The eighth seed up for grabs. It's the Bulls against the Heat. One team goes home, one team goes to Boston to face the top-seeded Celtics. Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo going to have to carry an even heavier load tonight for Miami with no Jimmy Butler for Chicago. They get the good news that Alex Caruso will give it a go as he was a game-time decision following an ankle injury. The other night, let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. They are brought to you by New Balance for the visiting Bulls. You see Caruso in there with Kobe White. Io Tsumu, who had a really nice game the other night as well. DeMar DeRozan and Nikola Vucevic, who also played well against Atlanta. Meanwhile, for the Heat, they set a franchise record 35 different starting lineups this season. They have a different one than they had Wednesday, thanks to the Butler injury. So it's Hero, Caleb Martin, Jaime Hawkins Jr., Nikola Jovic and Bam Adebayo to round out Miami's starting five. Go! And just good contest there by Jokic. Bam Adebayo eyes up. Finds him out there. Easy lay and Bulls down eight. Holstra is going to take a timeout. Eric Holstra is frustrated. He wants his guys to grab the ball. But there is one thing he should be happy about. Is that defense leading to this transition finish. Highsmith up. Hey, the NBA playoffs begin Saturday afternoon. We'll have a quadruple header of game ones for you on ESPN ABC and the ESPN app. We start at 1 Eastern with the Magic and the Cavs. Then the Suns take on the T-Wolves. Followed by the Sixers and the Knicks and over on ABC at 8.30 Eastern. We cap the day with the Lakers and the Nuggets. And LeBron James will be wearing a mic for us in that game on ABC. Come on. And that'll do it for the first. How about Tyler Hero? Six points, six rebounds, five assists in the opening frame. And a huge Miami lead. Then we'll go to the line to shoot two. DeMar DeRozan trying to get Chicago going here. He's trying his best right here. Catches it late in the shot clock. Knocks down the grenade. And then here the drive. This is, in my opinion, when he is at his best. Getting downhill and finishing strong. Let's check out tonight's three-point performance. Brought to you by Star 11 Line. And they have gotten it going from three. That was really the thing that opened up the game. Look at the sharing the ball. Jaime Jaquez knocking down a three. Then Kevin Love fresh off the bench. Knocks down his first shot of the game with a little bit of love. And then Duncan Robinson. One of the best shooters in this league. Gets going. It is just tough when Miami is shooting the ball this well. That was one of the things that helped lead them to the NBA Finals. Didn't shoot the ball well in the regular season. Right. Shot it great in the postseason. They had 10 assists in that opening quarter. Here at Kaseya Center. The eighth seed is on the line. Winner gets the battle in the first half. A low-scoring second quarter as Chicago outscores Miami 20-13 to in the frame. DeRozan with 15 points in the half. Jaquez with 10 to lead the way for Miami. 
DeRozan put up 12 of those 15 in the second. But it's the Heat who have the 10-point lead at the half. Malika and the crew coming up next on the Toyota Halftime. Welcome back to the SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament in Miami. The winner takes the eight seed. The loser goes home. It's the Heat with a 10-point lead. As we take a look at our first half stats, brought to you by Oral B. See, Chicago really struggled from three to 23 three-point attempts and a half. There's six times this season. And the fast break points, the bench points, big edge for Miami as we welcome you back. Courtside, Ryan Rucco alongside Richard Jefferson. Idol performance brought to you by Coors Light. And it was all about the Heat defense. Right here, DeMar DeRozan going one-on-one -on -one against Bam Adebayo, struggling right there. And then look at the eyes that Kobe White has on him. Really nowhere to go. Forces him into a tough pass. And there's just not a lot of space for any of them to work. Kobe White again here. This is coming off a 42-point career-high performance against the Atlanta Hawks. He's got four eyes on him, and he has zero assists tonight. Only eight for the Bulls in the first half. Oh, Miami run. And that's how you attack a closeout. Jaime Jaquez was moving before that ball ever got to him, putting Busevich just in an absolute blender. Great finish there by Jaime Jaquez. Welcome back to the SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament. Richard, you loved the way Jaime Jaquez attacked this closeout. Well, look, he's already moving. He's already moving as that ball is coming. That's when they talk about meet the pass. And then at that point in time, Vucevic, you see he just lets him go because he recognizes that he's not going to be able to close out and his momentum has already taken a pass up. That was an out. Continue Sunday afternoon with an ABC doubleheader. Eastern Conference top seeded Celtics will host the winner of our game here in game one of their series at 1 Eastern. And then it's a Western Conference game one between the Mavs and the Clippers. Our cup much better second half than he did first. Eric Spolstra will take a timeout. How about this highlight from Hero? Oh, Tyler Hero just playing an absolute complete game. One of his seven assists that he has on the night. Just a beautiful wraparound pass. Look at the crowd standing up before that ball even goes in. It's it all. And that'll end it for the third. The Heat, a 12-0 run to end the third quarter. Tyler Hero, a huge frame. Miami looking to make the playoffs tonight. Hero trying to take them there. Well, the first round of the NBA playoffs continues Sunday afternoon with an ABC doubleheader. The Eastern Conference top-seeded Celtics host the winner of our game here in game one of their series at 1 Eastern. And then it's a Western Conference game one between the Mavs and the Clippers. Are it's been more proud of to take the floor with given how much they've overcome this season. And this, this lead, too much to overcome, but we have more coming to you after the break. Beat the Celtics. We know the Knicks will beat the Sixers. You have apology for yeah, one have of the Knicks. I have don't apology. You? Uh, Jalen Brunson was texting JJ and was saying that he went to school for three years and graduated early. So I apologize, Jalen, for that. You mistake. gave him one extra year of school. But meanwhile, it all gets started tomorrow. Tyler Hero, terrific tonight. 112 91. The final for our producer, Rodney Vaughn. Our director, Jeff Evers, Richard Jefferson, Cassidy Hubbard, and our entire crew. I'm Ryan Rucco. NBA playoffs begin tomorrow, 1 Eastern on ESPN with the Magic and the Cavs. Good night from Miami after the break. We'll get you out to the Professional Fighters League.